Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this tutorial I want to show you how I created this anamorphic illusion in Blender. You can download the original footage with the link in the description if you want to follow along. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is to convert the movie clip I recorded into an image sequence. To do so we open up the video editing workspace and import our footage. Now set the scene frames to match the strip. Whenever you are working with movie clips, make sure to change the view transform in the color management to standard and match up the resolution and frame rate. Choose PNG as the output format and create a new folder for the image sequence. After everything is set up, it is time to render the animation. This may take a few minutes. Now we have to motion track the footage. Since we only need planar tracking, 4 tracking points should be enough. I put some tape dots on the table before recording to make this process easier. I linked a great tutorial in the description if you don't already know how to track in Blender, since I don't want to further explain that in this tutorial. Now select all the trackers, add a plane track and line it up with the first frame of the sequence. I would recommend you to rename it, since we are going to add another one in just a moment. The second plane needs to be aligned so that it always covers the plant but doesn't go over the border of the table. I'm going to name this one Mask. Now comes the main part of this tutorial, the compositing. Add an image node and import the image sequence. Also add another image node and this time only import the first frame of the sequence. Use an alpha over node to lay it over the image sequence and deform it with a plain track node. Now you can already see the effect working, 
but it is also distorting the background. That's why we created the second plane track, which we now can use as a mask. You can also add a blur node to feather the mask and make it seamless. Now set the output settings and make sure that you don't have anything in the video sequence editor because otherwise you won't be able to render your scene. I hope this tutorial was interesting and you learned something new. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, where I post a new Blender tip every single day. See you in my next video. Goodbye.